Our next guest is an oil specialist. He has 40 years of experience as a deal maker in the oil and gas business and says this oil spill is the worst among the worst that he's ever seen. Tom Petrie is the vice chairman of Bank of America Maryland. She joins us now from Denver. And Tom, uh, the major issues, I wonder what the major issues are that you think are most important. I mean, clearly this affects the future of oil and gas drilling, at least to some extent uh, here in this country. What about, first of all, the environmental effects? Well, the environmental effects, obviously, we don't know them all yet, but, but the inability to control the, the flow of oil for a period yet to come uh, is going to make it a, a major challenge. That, that announcement you just mentioned of BP indicating that the, uh, the control burn clearly worked, uh, that, that can help mitigate it, and let's all hope that, in fact, the mitigation programs that they're putting on, which are sound to be substantial, uh, will will help cut that back. Uh, the the comment about uh, about it being among the worst it it, it hurt, certainly has that potential. It hasn't reached that yet uh, uh, compared to the numbers you just cited. But the prospect that it's going to take some time yet before they can get this under control uh, makes it likely that uh, that it will be uh, it'll exceed those numbers. It sounds like. I wonder what you think about. Uh the burning, I mean, only works, right, if the weather permits, and that's what BP said. There have been other uh, solutions, though, discussed, possibly lowering a saucer down there. I mean, is there, is there, other, is there another chance that we can uh, help hold this back uh, from the coastline and help hold back more oil from coming out, 5,000 barrels a day coming out of the well that's right, right there in the near future? It, it would appear it's going to take time because the backup to that uh, you know, that, that idea of dropping a dome over it to contain it and then siphon the oil off uh, is going to take time in terms of fabricating a dome big enough, and it's never been done at this kind of water depth. So that's, that's a challenge, but they're moving ahead on it, as I understand it. The other option that they have is to drill in, and they've already moved ahead with the idea of drilling in with another well and then using heavy mud to, uh, to cut off, heavy drilling mud to cut off the flow. Uh, that, again, will take time, uh, but the fact that they're moving in parallel uh, is probably appropriate. Tom, you say... Uh, in the meantime, I, the, other big, the other big option they have is, is to use uh, booms and, and, and keep that oil as far from the shore as they can and then uh, contain it in a way where they can go with the controlled burns uh, while they're working these options to cut it off.